hey hi all in this video we will uh, cover one of the most important uh, salesforce chrome extension that is of organizer for salesforce so it uh, as it its name suggests it will organize your self salesforce org or you can uh, get the data from one particular point uh, from all over the org so we have quick links then profile chambers in which we will have different profiles what we have in our salesforce org then there is a quick console in quick console we have all these options like home is the quick query execute anonymous uh, as subject fields then quick org describe uh, then replace api names and convert salesforce id then login as so if we go to home the current organization info will be there like what's the org id domain uh, if you want to see session id you can click on that click to show then the org info the basic org info is there and then we have org limits what are the org limits for this particular edition of uh, developer org we have user info and then apex test coverage about the org moving ahead we have quick query so it's a sql query editor tool in that you can uh, name like select id from account if you will hit execute it will give you all the all the accounts which you have in your org and their respective ids so as you can see we have 23 records and this is the id you can save this query for later use you can delete it uh, you can reset whatever you want you can save this query for next uh, means like you can use that same query in, uh, in the nearest future if you want so that's why it's very useful if it is related to some of the uh, in the developer console or in the query editor we have that tooling api checkbox so in the same way we have this tooling if you want any any a subject uh, to any f subject which which will be uh, which can be queried only when this tool, tooling api is checked uh, so you have to select this tooling and then you have to hit execute the third one is execute anonymous so as as we know like we have execute anonymous window and we just execute this and we get the debug logs in the same way we can execute any code here in this particular window we can paste that and we can execute it and we can set the debug logs accordingly for all for database dbs database workflow validation whether you want to know like what happened to the this particular workflow or not uh, if if you don't want to debug that particular workflow then you can specify none, uh, none of the workflow will be uh, means like the workflow will run in the back end but uh, the logs will not be there if you will select none if you will select debug or finance the, all the details will be there in the same way we have validation rules call out apex code apex profiling a uh, visual force and the system generated then we have a subject fields so this all fields uh, will be there you have to just type the id of a subject if you want to query all the fields of that particular subject you can query that uh, and if you want specific details about that particular um, uh, particular field so you can get that <laughs> then we have quick org describe so it will uh, give you a csv file for that particular uh, object so for example if i go like so what is this activity table uh, so all inside actions are there out of that if you want the description that as, as it the describe works in the same manner this will work so you have to just click on this thing and then you have to click on uh, csv oh, God. so the details are there for it just hold it on So once you hit csv so there will be a downloadable file which you can save in your uh, desktop anywhere and uh, then you can see what all of details it have about that particular object then if you want to replace api names uh, then you can specify that if you are on particular object uh, 
account or some record then from url the record id will be fetched and all the fields of that particular object will be fetched if you want to convert some of the 15 digits character id that is a record id to 18 digits for exporting or something like that if you want to import some of the values uh, which uses 18 digit uh, characters so then you can convert them to, into 18 digit and then you can save it or you can import them in the salesforce org if you want to log in as one of the users you can specify the name of that particular user search for it and then you can log in as per that particular user once you install this particular uh, chrome extension you will see an organizer here once you click on that then all these options will be visible to you if you want to again minimize it you have to just click on that organizer again then we have options so in this options we have all the setup about this particular uh, uh, organizer extension so what are the features what is the quota the license total logins licensing logins total sync quota total sync items local storage quota all that then we have some of the features uh, if you want to see it in the dark modes and you can apply dark mode and you can then save the settings so it will work in that manner what are the quick links so these are the quick links which we have uh, seen and then enable enable debug log for unexpected exceptions so <coughs> it will be helpful for us so this is basic setup of the organizer then uh, this is again the shortcut keys which we can use uh, via keyboard so it will if you are working on daily basis on this particular uh, chrome extension or using this chrome extension in your daily uh, work then uh, it is good if you know the shortcuts you can easily go to anywhere in this particular uh, extension and you can use it then we have import and export as as we as we all are aware of uh, to import or export any data then we have in this advanced uh, we have like if you want to uh, download the logs or if you want to reset hard uh, if you want to do hard reset then we can click on this reset all data then all the data will be gone so if you want you can click yes or no your choice so that's all for this organizer extension thank you have a nice day